Chapter seven, Dumb Cinderella. After we left Grouchy Mrs. Morty's, we went to the rest of the houses on our street. I got raisins and a pencil and a box of trail mix. I said thank you to all those people. This is the feminist day of my life, I told mother. At the end of the block, we turned the corner and then wow, we wow, I saw two trick-or-treater girls coming my way. It was Cinderella and her fairy godmother. I just couldn't resist myself, I tell you. I made scary claws at the feet with my fingers and I raised my arms in the air and then I ran at those two like a whiz. Ah! They stopped very fast and watched me with their eyes. I ran all around them in a scary circle. Ah, 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 I screamed. Then finally I got dizzy and I stopped. While I breathed, I made a scary clown face. Grr, I said, grr. Cinderella looked at the fairy godmother. Do clowns say grr, she asked. The fairy godmother shrugged her shoulders. What did she say her name was again? Cinderella thought for a second. Creamy. I think she said Creamy the Clown. I stamped my foot. Not Creamy. Screamy, I hollered. I'm Screamy the Clown and I can scare the pants off you. Then I made more claws and I jumped up and down with frightening. Boo! I shouted. Boo! And I mean it! <laughs> they looked at each other and did more shrugs and Cinderella started walking again. <laughs> sorry creamy but you're just not scary she said the fairy godmother nodded you're making a fool out of yourself sister then she bumped me on the head with her wand and she started walking too pretty soon mother and ollie called up mother said i'm acting like a lunatic and i have to stay with her and ollie then she held my spender so i couldn't run away anymore my shoulders slumped very much yeah only why would i even run away again because I can't scare a flea, I tell you. I glanced down at my big fat pants. I look like a clown in this get up, I said. I did not feel brave anymore. Finally, mother let go of my spenders and she held my hand. I walked real slow and nervous and I looked for monsters in the dark. Also, I swatted in the air over my head or else a bat might land in my clown wig. Mother kept on pulling me. Come on, Junie B, move your feet. Just then I heard voices behind me and I quick spun around. Oh no, it was a witch. A witch was behind me on the sidewalk and she was walking with a skeleton guy. I quit yanking my hand away from mother and I dived behind a bush. Scatter people, scatter, I yelled. Junie B, come back, called mother. My heart pounded and pounded, but I did not go back. Instead, I crouched into a teensy clown ball and I peeked through the bush branches. The witch was wearing a pointy black witch hat and a long black witch dress. She passed mother on the sidewalk. Hello, said mother. Moo, said Ollie. The witch laughed at him. I think he means boo, she said to the skeleton. Then both of them laughed some more and they kept on walking. I flopped on my back very relieved. Whew, that was a close one. Then I wiped my nervous head and I tried to calm my breathing. Only too bad for me because... All of a sudden, mother came running around the bush and she got me by my spenders again. And this time, she didn't let go. Chapter eight, candy. Dear little candy wrapper that I'm writing on with my new pencil. Halloween was a very long night. After the witch, we saw two monsters and three more witches. Witches are big candy eaters, apparently. I hid behind mother till they were gone. Ollie mooed at them. Cows are braver than they look. From Junie B. Jones. After I finished writing, I pulled off my clown nose and I did a breath of fresh air. I am glad that night is over, I said, real relieved. Just then, Grandpa Miller came in my room to say goodnight. He and Grandma were going to the airport to pick up my daddy from his business trip. Only bad news, because daddy wouldn't be home till after I was asleep, so I couldn't even see him till morning. I hugged Grandpa very tight and I gave him my trail mix to eat in the car. He will eat anything. Mother was giving Ollie a bath. I dumped my Halloween bag out on my bed and I lined up my stuffed animals to look at it. Whoa, said Raggedy Andy named Larry. You got a million candy bars almost. Yeah, said my Raggedy Ann named Ruth. Too bad about the dumb apples and raisins, but the rest of it looks good. I know, I said. 
Mother took Ollie and me to on four entire streets, and it was very scary, but I made a good haul. Philip looked at me kind of surprised. It was scary, he asked. How come it was scary? I thought you were being screamy. <sighs> yeah, only nobody was even afraid of screamy. Not even a fisherman or dumb Cinderella or her crazy old fairy godmother. After that, all of my stuffed animals hopped in my lap and we did a group hug. Don't worry, said Philip Johnny Bob. You will be braver next year, I bet. Yes, next year I will be a cow. <laughs> After that, I started to count my candy. Philip did a gasp. <gasps> peanuts, he said. Is that peanuts I see? I did a giggle. Then I opened up the peanuts and I put one in Philip's trunk. <laughs> It fell out again. Shoot, said Philip. I tried two more times. Then I took him to my desk and I taped the peanut in his trunk. Mmm, delicious. After that, I gave a peanut to Larry and Ruth and Teddy and I ate the rest myself. Also, I ate a gummy worm and I chewed my pack of sugarless gum. After a while, mother called to me from Ollie's room. Junie B, did you wash your face and take off your costume yet? It's really late, honey. You got to get to bed. I shut my door very quiet because I was too sleepy to wash my face, that's why. I quick took off my clown pants and I crawled under my covers. I'm already in bed, mother, I called back. And I yawned very sleepy. I'm going to sleep now, okay? See you in the morning. Then I turned out my light and I pulled the sheet way over my head so mother wouldn't see that I didn't wash my face. My eyes felt very heavy and pooped. I did another yawn. And then I went right to sleep and I dreamed I was a cow. <laughs>